Hey there, Crusaders. Happy New Year to you and yours. Hope you had yourselves a fine festive break filled to the brim with all the casual gluttony and undeserving attainment of physical possessions that will most likely become lost, broken, or otherwise unusable long before the fragile gift of life abandons your body, which, odds being what they are, will not be long at all. Get using those deodorant gift sets. <laughs> uh, so where the fuck have I been? What have I been up to? Why have I not been making with the funnies and the gaming and the general rambling nonsense that passes for entertainment around here? Well, let's... Let's, uh... Let's drop the jokes for a minute and go off script here because, uh... I've been trying to sit here and write a carefully phrased statement punctuated with wit and mirth and courageous brevity about what's been happening to me these past two months and... I gotta tell you, I got nothing. And, uh, maybe that's because what's been happening to me has involved none of those things, or at least, you know, because I'm still not far removed enough from it that I can look at it with anything besides just the most abyssal kind of existential horror. It's... No, no, we're already getting too dramatic here, aren't we? Let's, let, let me just walk that back and just be honest with you. I have been dealing with a nervous breakdown. Um, happened just before the start of December, I don't want to go too deeply into what caused it, but uh, as I've mentioned in the past, I suffer fairly regularly with manic depression, which I guess makes me more susceptible to this sort of thing and this nervous breakdown. Well, gave me a real, real bad case of anxiety. Now, um, the cheerier, more robust of constitution among you are entirely forgiven for thinking that those two things are mutually exclusive, or at least strikingly similar, but... Let me tell you, they are not. Anxiety, I have um, personally found to be far worse for me. Depression has done a lot of deeply terrible things to me, but it's never once made me terrified of my own body and mind, you know? Depression has never repeatedly caused me to feel physical sensations that are nearly indistinguishable from a heart attack, never made me feel like I was going to pass out or throw up if I even stood up for more than 30 seconds. Anxiety has done all of that to me. Anxiety has got me reeling from heart palpitations and shortness of breath. It's got me obsessive compulsively checking my heart rate dozens of times a day, scared that it's too fast, scared that it's too slow, afraid of twinges in my chest and aches in my arms, and it's, it's there constantly. You know, it kicks off its slippers, it sets up camp right in the center of your brain so that you're so fixated on monitoring every quirk in your body, so obsessed with staying alive that you can't actually live. You're too distracted to even watch a movie or read a book, too distracted to sleep, to eat, too worried to even stand up for the couple of minutes it takes to have a fucking shower. It has crushed me. And the worst part of it all is that while your brain is firing these sensations around your body, convincing you that what you're feeling is real is also telling you, just as persuasively, that you're not actually facing anxiety. Well, what, it's, what it's telling you is that there is something terribly wrong with you, and what you're actually facing is imminent death if you exist in any other physical position besides the fetal position on the bed. So, you know, as much as I've wanted to make videos and live my life and work and enjoy Christmas, I just just couldn't. My, my body wouldn't let me. And you know, a lot of this was fed by a full month of doctors umming and ahhing over the condition of my heart, which, you know, I understand they have to do that to be safe. I get that. But it did nothing for my state of mind in the meantime, which eventually became so irreparably panicked and broken that it bought into the idea that I had something badly wrong with me and, and ran with it to the moon. So... <laughs> So, where does that leave me now? Well, I, mean, I guess I'll start with the positives. I haven't had a panic attack in a good couple of weeks. Definitely less obsessed and worried in general about muscular aches and pains, you know, my own heart rate and the idea that I'll pass out. It's, uh, I think one of my worst mistakes in this entire ordeal was thinking that I could just talk myself out of being anxious, you know, that I could just reason myself out of it and sometimes you know that that worked for a few hours or half a day but always coming back 
And I mean, it, it always will come back so long as I fixate on it. it. It's taken me this long to acclimatize to the physical sensations that anxiety causes me, you know? The, the doctors prescribed me some anti-anxiety meds at one point that made the room spin, gave me a panic attack so bad it felt like somebody had jammed a pair of fucking hedge clippers through my chest, so out the window they went. That's probably some neighborhood cats melting their balls off on half a blister pack of amitriptyline they found in my front garden right now, so... But, you know, things things are better because I've gotten used to those sensations now and they generally don't stick around as long as they have been. You know, my heart rate was flying around all over the fucking place. It's, it's been calmer and quieter the past few days in general, I suppose. I, you know, I need to accept as well that, you know, I've been, I've been living with a very unhealthy lifestyle that's, that's started to catch up with me. I've been existing largely on nicotine and caffeine and very little exercise for Christ knows how long now. So drastic lifestyle changes are currently being made. And uh, I mean, I, I hope to be back making this content regularly for now. You know, tomorrow, um, tomorrow, hopefully I'll get a couple out. That I really, I really do because I, I genuinely love doing it, you know? Don't speak too soon and all that, you know. I wouldn't say it feels like I've completely turned a corner and you can let me out the padded cell now because I'm cured, brothers, I'm cured. But it does feel like I'm a long way uh, up the street from where I started, you know, last month. And um, I guess this is the first time I felt anywhere near able to just sit in front of a microphone and talk in any kind of capacity. So progress, progress. For sure, as uh, as much as I try to ignore it, I'm, I'm still getting things like racing heart rates, palpitations, muscular aches and pains that are just enormously distracting and, and frustrating, most of all, even on a good day, frustrating because they always seem to back off whenever I'm up the hospital or the doctor's getting them checked out. So, you know, I've still kind of trapped myself in this, this mindset where I wonder if anxiety is causing these symptoms or the symptoms are causing the anxiety, so you know it's it's hard to really get a grip on what countermeasures I'm really supposed to be taking here. But uh, you know, positive thoughts. As always, you know, thank you for your patience. I I will get there. I'll get there. All the love in the world for your concern and support. I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Lots of love.